Now, how old is your passport? We're always being told, told to check the expiry before we travel, but for an estimated 80,000 Brits wanting to travel to America this year, passports being in date might not be the only problem. Well, a change in American regulations that came into force on the 1st of April have caught some holidaymakers out, and for Louisa Harris and Chris Wright, who should be happily married by now, it meant cancelling their dream wedding, and they're here right now, so thank Good you, morning. guys. Good morning. Um, Good morning. So you were scheduled to fly on Sunday, April the 3rd. The wedding was planned in Las Vegas on Tuesday. Tuesday the 5th of April. Um, what plans had you made? Everything that you would normally make for a wedding really. Um, you know, plan the church, plan the, our accommodation, photographer, all the arrangements that we'd made you know, via email in America. You've got a lovely room in the Bellagio. Yeah, lovely, yeah. Um, Dress. Dress. Yeah, the dress yeah, all packaged dress up, all, ready yeah, to go. go. Yeah, and just everything. really excited about starting your life as a married couple, that next phase of your relationship. So, 36 hours before you're due to go, you received an email, didn't you? Who was it from and what did it say? Yeah, it was from the uh, from the US Embassy, first thing in the morning, saying um, your passport no longer complies due to the rule change as of today, and um, your ESTA has been cancelled, and that was pretty much it. Well, just explain, well, explain the, uh, the S. It's the Electronic System for Travel Authorization. You have to have one of those. You do it online when you're going to America. When you had filled in your ESTA application, was there anything on there that pointed out that there could be an issue? No, not, at all. not at all. We did that in January in plenty of time. And so when you, um, when you find this out, what's your course of action? What do you do? We got straight on the phone uh, initially to the, the holiday company. Um, no, we didn't. Yeah, so that was then to the, no, we to the passport the embassy. Yeah. embassy. We, we, um, they told us then that there was a mistake and we would be able to travel, we think, but we had to check with the American embassy as well. So we checked with them and they said, no, it's not a mistake, we couldn't travel. And it, it was a sort of phone calls, emails. For and the this is all the... down to the reason this had happened and is likely to happen to 80,000 other holidaymakers going to America if they don't have the right passport, is the biometric passport. Yes. And, uh, and on your passport, there is, uh, then you can see down the bottom, underneath the word passport is what looks like a you know, sort of old cassette type of thing or a camera. Um, and that stores all sorts of information on it. And you can't get into America if your passport doesn't have that on the front. What seems extraordinary here is that y you, you would have sorted this out if you'd have known in good time. Yeah. 36 hours beforehand left you with no time to rectify the situation because although in some cases you can get an emergency passport, which you could have done, it was so overbooked we that you yeah. couldn't get appointments. No, we tried, we tried. We even tried getting to Belfast because there was an appointment on Saturday at, at five o'clock in, in the Belfast passport office. But with, with flights and the turnaround time of the passport, because it takes four hours, it just didn't work out that we could, we could actually get physically get back then into to Gatwick to then fly out again on Sunday morning. So you had to cancel everything? Yeah. And you said you cried for days, yeah, as you can imagine. I understand yeah. completely. So that's having to take the dress back, yeah, um, and uh, and all of your yeah. accommodation, your church, your hairdresser, your photographer. Yeah. Um, have you got any conversation? Has anyone helped you out on this? Um, because we booked through um, a tour operator, we went directly to them to start with. They um, couldn't help us, or said that they couldn't help us. Um, so then we went, went direct then to the Bellagio and, and direct to, to Virgin. Um, Bellagio, in fact, have refunded our money after a long battle of emails mm. via... Because everything has been done via a tour operator when you book via, the, via them, but mm. we still have, you know, lost everything else, really. And the so flights have said that you can rebook at a later date. Yeah, we're, we're trying that at the moment, but we're still in a constant battle of emails. And, uh, and, and uh, have you set another date? Are you going to try it again? Um, hopefully in the school some holidays, yeah. yeah. Oh.